Hi guys, Samantha from GCM Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you uh, how to create a watercolour slab using glitter and then we'll make a pendant with it. So you're going to need some pearl white polymer clay and black polymer clay and this is all Primo and this has been rolled out basically on my middle setting of my pasta machine. I'm just going to stack them like so, smoothing that over so that there are no fingerprints. Then I'll bring over a blade and trim away the excess, like so. That out the way. Okay, and I need to trim a little more over here. And then I've just got uh, a red and green holographic glitter. And you can of course use mica powder for this, you can use paint. It does not have to be glitter. I just thought it would be interesting to try because uh, I haven't used uh, glitter and this technique before. It should work. I'm just interesting, interested how it will look. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to dab that over the surface like so and I'll do that with the green as well until I've mostly covered the surface. Okay, there we go. Then I'm just going to take a piece of paper and I'm just going to burnish over the top to make sure that the glitter is stuck down into the clay as best as possible. And then we're going to bring over a sheet of translucent. There we go. I'll just lift that up. Okay, and you can see how that looks. Just quickly wipe the tile down. Relatively little mess there, considering we're working with glitter. And I bring over a sheet of translucent that has been run out on my thinnest setting. start from one side and smooth it over preventing uh, the trapment of air bubbles. Like so. Okay and I'm pressing quite hard when I'm doing this and this also stretches the translucent out a bit. I'll just trim away the excess. Okay, then I'm going to take that and I'm going to run that through my pasta machine, um, thinning it out to about the same thickness that our black and pearl white uh, pieces were. Okay, and there we go. So you can see uh, how that looks. Now, it's not going to look uh, great with the translucent on top of the moment. It's going to look better once we've baked it. So I want you to rip that. And then just take these pieces, put them up, and then just pop them back uh, together again in any random fashion. Like so. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to grab a piece of paper and burnish this until it's flat. And you can see uh, what it looks like on the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one because I plan on making a, a little ring dish with it and I want to have another piece for the back. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to take this small screen that I have here. Just give it a minute to be a little fiddly with me. And 
then I'm going to put halfway on so that we got a half of each pattern. Then just smooth that down, make sure that you don't have air bubbles. Grab some white paint. This is just white acrylic paint. Okay. And then just scrape that across. And now because the surface is uneven, I'm also just going to go over with my finger just to make sure that I got it in all the areas because uh, we've got some dips and the card will miss scraping the paint into those areas. So just smooth that over with your finger like so. Okay. And then lift up. Okay. Then once that's dried, I'm just going to pick that up. Okay. And I'll bring over a piece of paper. And I'm going to take this one, flip it upside down. Place this one on, smooth to get rid of air bubbles. Use pieces of paper just to smooth those two together, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to bring out my cutter. And that way both sides will look nice. Just run your finger along the edge. And that will just smooth up any uh, bits of the cutter missed. Right, there we go. Then I'll bring over my dish that I'm going to be using. And this is going to be the back side. And then just insert that and don't press too hard, just use your finger to smooth it into the corner so that you get the shape of your dish. And then I'll be baking that for an hour at pretty much recommended temperature. Okay, and here it is out of the oven. So, I'm going to varnish it in a moment. I just want to try one thing. If it doesn't work, then no harm. Uh, done. But I want to take the silk screen. And I really would like there to be an acorn right in the middle. Let's just see if I'm able to. Okay. So I'm going to take some white paint. Pop a little bit down there. And then grab the acorn of choice. Position it pretty much in the middle. Burnish it down. Like so. Okay, and I'm just holding it down. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of white paint. Very small amount. Okay, and if it doesn't work, we can always just wipe it off. Okay, and it didn't really work. I don't think that it would, but it was uh, worth a shot. And I'm not sure I like it anyway. So I just wanted to try that out. Just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Just so that we can get rid of that white stain from the paint. There we go. Now we can varnish it. Okay, and I'm going to be using a spray on varnish. You can, of course, uh, coat it in Verithane or uh, UV resin. This is just very easy. I'm going to spray the front first, let that dry for about an hour, then flip and I will spray the back. So, yeah, what we do. There we go. That's basically it. 
Uh, then let that dry. When it's done, we can do the other side. Okay, and here it is after it has dried. So you can see I've done both sides. And so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that you don't have to use glitter. You can use paint, pastels, mica powders. Uh, you could even just uh, use the clay as it is. Uh, as you saw on the back of this with the black and white, it also looks quite nice. Uh, I just wanted to try it out, see how it looked with the glitter, which I quite like. You can also put the glitter on a white background if you wanted it to look different. It really is up to you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.